Sometimes during the sales process, you can feel like a juggler trying to balance all your data. You've got data on the products you sell, you've got data on the people you're selling to, and you've got conversations happening left and right with your prospects. So how do you balance all this? Well, in Pipedrive, we neatly organize your data so that you can focus more on selling rather than hunting down data. You've got contacts, which store long-term information and history, leads and deals, which track all action that takes place for a sale, activities, which are the individual actions you perform like calls and meetings, and finally, we have products, which stores information on, well, the actual products that you sell. Let's start with leads because it's no secret that the first step towards making a sale is to have a lead. The leads inbox is a place where you can store cold, warm, or hot prospects that you haven't fully qualified yet, but you don't want to lose or delete. You can easily convert them to deals once they're ready, and any emails or notes that you've added to these leads will just be automatically migrated over into a deal. And so speaking of deals, let's talk about deals. Like, why would you want one? Well, deals and leads are actually very similar, but the difference here is that deals are tracked throughout the stages of your pipelines. They are then dragged through the stages of your processes until they're marked as either lost or won, and this affects your actual insights and reports later on. And by using this, you can actually gain valuable insight into your team's performance throughout the different stages of the actual process. But it's worth noting that deals do have a little more functionality, such as an area to actually store templates for your documents. Deals can also be duplicated and or transferred to additional pipelines with their own unique sets of stages. But so how do we actually progress a deal to the next stage? That's where the activities come in handy. It's essential to always have the next step scheduled when you have an open deal in your pipeline, be it a call, a lunch meeting, or any custom type of activity you set up. In PyDrive, you can keep track of all of that, and your activity calendar can be synced with most major calendar providers. Remember that you can have multiple deals and leads open for the same person or organization, and you won't lose that data if the deal is closed or deleted. That's why in PyDrive you can store any long-term information related to a contact, such as an email address or a phone number, job title, something like that. And this all goes into your contact section. So for example, if you have multiple people in one organization and multiple deals and activities for those people, you can get a history and an overview of all those people's deals and activities in one organization view. So that means you can keep growing your relationships with your customers because you can schedule activities or even open new deals or leads for your contacts at any point in time, and all opportunities will be tracked in their contact profiles. So you're all set for your leads, contacts, and activities, and you're progressing with your deals, but maybe it feels as if something is still missing here, and maybe that would be the products you're selling. In Pipedrive, there's a dedicated space where you can create and store the custom information about the products and services you offer, price them, and link them to your deals, pre-populating deal value and providing you with insights into your product sales. And so that's it, folks. Now you don't have to worry about juggling around all that data, because it's all in one place in a part of the Pipedrive ecosystem.